the purpose of this video is to show you how to create your HTML document, place it on your local desktop, and then how to upload it so that it renders on your website. So I'm going to open a few windows for you here. So let me first of all open up a blank screen. Now um, let me go back and say, OK, um, let, let me show you where I am. So on my hard drive, on my C drive, I've got a folder called Jacques Duplessis because I've got a website, jacquesduplessis.com. And this is how my website looks like. When you go to jacquesduplessis.com, by default, it will look for the index.html. Here is that file, and that will render. So let's go there. This is jacquesduplessis.com, and here is the page that you see. So now what if I want to mess with it and add new files and so forth? So I want to go show you something I'm doing. So I create this little file, which I just created moments ago, HTML, close HTML. And then you've got a head and a body. So here's my head, close head, body, close body. In the head, I said, okay, I'm going to put a little title. And then of the browser, it'll be at the top. And the title is just my name, Jacques Duplessis, close title. Good. Done with head. Of course, as you already know, you can put other stuff in there. I'm going to keep things simple. Body. Let's put a, a header. So you can have H1 through H6, and they just get smaller and smaller. So I thought, ah, let's do A2. A1 is maybe a little overkill. And close it. And then a paragraph tag. Thanks for the visit. And I'll put a period there to be nice. Now, as I mentioned to you before, if you want this to render properly, this is an HTML page, although I have not saved it yet. Let's go to HTML and it says, this is HTML, guys. Then, ha, ah, it suddenly makes it look nicer. If you've got anything that's not proper, it will show you. Now I need to save this page. So I want to show save it just simply, let's say, save where, uh, okay, let's go find the right place for this. I need to go to my Dropbox, Jacques Duplessis, and I'm going to save it right next to it. And I'm going to call it um, Jacques. There we go. And it's HTML5, so I'm going to say save. This is saved. So now there you can see in Jacques Duplessis, there's a file called Jacques.html. Now I'm telling myself, right, let's see what this looks like. So I can, of course, now go at the, the local thing there. You see on my Jacques Duplessis, there it is. So I can take this file and up. I'm going to just squeeze a little to the side there. Go to this blank page and then go back to my... Let me see what it will take to go to the... There we go. And I'm going to drag this to this new tab or just to the page right here and boom h2 this is my personal site and then a paragraph thanks for the visit that's all that it is there you see it but now this is on the c drive so if i send you this url this is going to be useless to you because you have to be right here with me on my machine to be able to see this so i need to upload this now to my website for that you need a file ftp uh, file so here it is. So I've already gone here and I've selected FlexiTutor. And when I select FlexiTutor, the username and password is already put in and brrr, it opens up the site. Now what, it's, what I've done is this is my local machine. You see that C, Jacques Duplessis. And I've not refreshed this yet. So let me do that. I think it's F5. Yep, F5. And there it now shows the Jacques.html. Now, let's go to my website. You'll notice there's a folder called public.html. If you've got only one URL, this public.html, why is that complaining? Okay, I don't know. Let me double click on it again. Something is unhappy. Um, maybe I, it is logged out. We'll see what happens. I'm going to find it here. Okay, there we go. Somehow. Then I can open it, and then I want to go to Jacques Duplessis. There you see it's got that UWM folder, it's got the index, and a few other little nonsenses. We don't care too much about that now, but I want to drag over this Jacques 
over to here. But what I want to show you before I do that. So let me get complicated with you. So I want to go here and go to... Um, Okay, yes, this is .com. That's pretty good, yes. Okay, and then I want to go to Jacques, because it's by the... Oh, why is it doing it this? Uh, it's by default now um, assuming index.html. So if I were to type here index.html, it's like telling it nothing new. It says, yes, I know, we're already here, hello, hello. So now I've got that new file that I've not moved over yet, and that is jacques.html. So let's put that in. And obviously you expect it's going to show you something like, hey, there's nothing here. There we go. It's not there. So now I'm going to go back to that FTP situation and I say, okay, if it's not there, put it there. So I drag it from my C drive now onto the website. That's all it is. That's how you render it. And now I wait a second. Aha. There it is. So now if I go back here and I refresh this page, we're going to see magic. There it is. On my website, there is jacques.html. So if you upload a file and you call it week or unit2.html and it, you've just uploaded it to, you can go test it. Yep, it'll play. And then you grab that and you put it that URL in your Dropbox. So I go to your Dropbox. I click on that URL. Boom, I go to your site and I see what you've done for the week. You're happy, I'm happy, we're all happy. So I thought I'd just show you how this works once again. Just do a quick refresh. You go and write your page. Simple thing, you just do a test, give it a name. There you noticed I've saved it on my local hard drive as jacques at html.com. If you don't believe me, <laughs> there it is. You can see there it's local disk C. It's in that folder, and now I need to get it from my local folder onto the website. For that, I need a file transfer protocol situation. Open the file. I've got my, um, the host is, uh, in this case, is jacquesduplessy.com. Username, I've got a username. It's learn something, and then I've got a password, which I'm not going to tell you. Port normally is 21, and if you can get to get your FTP to work, you're in great shape. Then you go there and you just simply drag it from your local drive to the to the spot where you want to put it, and it will render as I just proved to you when we went there, and there we see it. And once again, if I take that off, guess what's going to happen? It's going to look for index.html, which is this one. Thanks. I hope this was useful and that you will be able to be in business. Thank you.